Hello everyone. Today we, well first today, I want to say is March 25th. So that means we read Proverbs 25 and we also read Ecclesiastics 11. So I'll let my mom start off with what she enjoyed about this these chapters. Woo, are you sure about that? Because Ecclesiastes 11 talks about as far as young people having a good time, yeah, enjoying themselves. I heard some people were on a lakefront, I told you today, and the police had to break it up because they think they're invincible. But we get it. It was warm. It was almost 60 degrees, the blue water, yeah, or the blue sky, and it, it just drew people. But it says, when we do this, rejoice, O young man, and the youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. Verse Nine and walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. But thou know that for all these things, God will bring thee into judgment. You're going to have to give an account to everything that you do, no matter what age. And we know that this virus is taking, you know, young people as young as 12, I believe, and younger than that. Listen, we're here for just a comma. So we have to live introspectively too to please our Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, I liked uh, verse nine and ten. Um, they were just—it was just saying like the young people, like be happy while you're young. And then verse ten was like, banish anxiety from your heart. Mm -hmm. That's important. Um, a lot of things can make you anxious. Be anxious for nothing. Like you, especially, well, it doesn't matter. You could be young or old. You still can have anxiety. Yeah. But you gotta have—you <clears throat> gotta have something that that gives you like peace and. Because if you're if you're not solid and, and, and there's a lot of things going on wrong with you and you're not listening to God, then you should be anxious. But what scriptures like be anxious about nothing or something? Hey, that's Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the promise is the peace of God shall keep you. That's the peace that passes all understanding. Why are you so peaceful? Because... He keeps our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus. Yeah. And in Proverbs 25, I like the 13th verse. Like a snow cool drink <sighs> at harvest time is this trustworthy messenger to the one who sends him. He refreshes the spirit of his master. So if you. Which if, one is that? I think verse 13. Mm -hmm. If you have been. If you ever experience a very hot day, mm -hmm. you just feel drained. You feel like fatigued. But once you get like a nice ice cold water, yeah. ice cold, ice cold, once you get one of them in your system, then you feel refreshed. Nice. And you can feel like that fatigue and that and that drear on a daily basis, maybe from your from where you work at, or maybe your spouse or whatever your school. But that's why you have to be you have to be that refresher. You have to be yes. that person like don't add on to their their stress load. Like try and be like a don't be a burden. Be a a light for them. Like they'll look forward to talking to you because you always have something positive to say. Amen. And another um, verse in addition to that one is verse thirteen. As a coat of snow in a time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refreshes the soul of his masters or his his authority, whoever. But we want to be the ones who offer the balm of Gilead. And we know that the Lord is the ultimate healer out here. He's the ultimate source of peace, no matter what we're going through. And also, you know, it's been almost, well, it's been a few months since I've worn yeah, earrings. And um, it was as a sacrifice. And this scripture reminds me of that. As an earring of gold, as verse 12, and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover unto an obedient ear. We want what we say make a difference to the ears of those who are open to it. So a word fitly spoken are like apples of gold and pictures of silver. Let's use our words wisely. Have a good evening.